just had a random keyboard pop up. Keeps doing that every so often. Right, so with this one, so with part B, so we've got this idea that if, if it's uh, due east of the origin, then the J component is zero. Now it wants it, uh, it wants to find a value of T, but I need an equation first in terms of T to solve. So I'm going to need an equation. Terms of t. So my r is r naught plus v t again. So r, my displacement, is 3, 7 plus 2 minus 1 lots of t. So I don't know what the t value is, that's what I want to find out. So if I put them together as a single vector, it's 3 plus 2 t across, 7 minus t up or down. Now I said that the j component is equal to zero. So seven minus t is equal to zero. T is seven seconds. So that's not too bad, but it was getting that initial equation first, so you've got to be careful of. Right, let's have a look at the next page. Right, hang on a sec. It's probably worth, I didn't really mention it properly. This is a constant velocity question. So my acceleration is zero. And if you remember the, the equation I don't like, which is x equals ut, that's just been adapted to the um, to the to r equals r naught plus vt, same thing because u and t are the same. So because these are I, can't, I, can't, I told you I'm getting all tongue tied, but you know I don't like doing them. Because um, the way I see it, it's a SUVAT that you set up with an acceleration of zero, you create the equation and it cancels out. Right, so anyway, let's have a look at this then. So part A says, two cars, P and Q, moving on a straight horizontal road with constant velocities. So we know the acceleration is zero again, because this is the part of the, this is a lesson on constant velocities. The velocity of P is 15 plus 20J, the velocity of Q is F. Find the direction of motion of Q. Find your answer as a bearing. Right then. So direction of motion. That's linked to the velocity, not its position. It's which way it's going. So that's linked to the velocity. So for Q, my velocity is 20 minus 5. So I've got something which goes across 20 and goes down 5. So what do I want then? So I want this. I don't want the, the magnitude of it, I just want the direction down to So there's theta, and there's naught. So tan theta is 5 over 20. Theta is the inverse tan of a quarter. So theta is roughly 14 degrees. So the bearing, oops, remember for a bearing you go from north, it'll be 90 plus, well, or plus 14, so it'll be 104 degrees there. Right, so that's part A done. So that wasn't too bad, was it? So then it says for part B, it says at time t equals zero, the position vector for P and Q is 400i and 800j. At a time t, so time t, we're looking at a general equation for these. So like a general equation. Um, so, we want, so, we want, so we want equations down for P and Q. Right then, so let's have a look. So for P, so R is, so remember it was R naught, which was 400, zero. So R naught, 400, zero. And V is, what do we have for P? That was 15, 20, wasn't it? 15, 20. Be careful of the time here, the time's going to run out. Hang on. 